This is division by multiples of 10. It's part of the whole numbers and integers module. The first question we've got is 6,000 divided by 10. Now in the text it talks about uh, when you divide by 10 you can remove a 0. So that would make the answer to this, removing a 0, would make the answer 600. Another way that we could look at this is to write this as 6,000 over 10 and you can then go you know, 10 goes into 10 once and we can cross off a zero there to get 600 times so that's two ways of doing it this one dividing by 100 we can remove two zeros so the answer is 60 dividing by a thousand so the answer is six it makes sense that 6,000 divided by a thousand is six because basically what we're asking is how many one thousands are there in 6,000 uh, 70,000 divided by 100, and let's take off two zeros, so that's going to leave 700 as our answer. Something a little more challenging, we've got um, 800 divided by 40. So first of all, let's think of 40 here as 4 and times 10. So let's divide by 4 first, so 800 divided by 4 is going to be 200 and then uh, I'll just put dividing by 4 there and then we can divide by 10 and so the answer is 20. Alright, we have go to the next question now and we first of all we can think of 400 as being 4 times 100. So first of all, let's divide by 4. So 4 goes into 36 9 times, so the answer to that is 9,000. And then we can divide by 100, so then the answer is going to be 90. The next question. I might just reverse the order a little bit of, of um, doing this. We've got 8,000 here, which is the same as 8 times 1,000. This time, let's divide by 1,000 first. Divide by 1,000, remove three zeros, gives 160. And then we can divide by 8, which gives the answer of... Uh, 8 goes into 16 twice, so the, so the answer is 20. Next one's a little bit trickier, actually. We... Um, We've got 250, and I'm going to think of that as 25 times 10. And so I'm going to divide by 10 first. Divide by 10 means I can cross off a zero. So that will give us 20,000 as the answer. Now I'm going to divide by 25. Now I can't divide 2 or 20. By 25 but I can divide 200 by 25 so dividing 200 by 25 is going to be 8 and that was 200 so there's two zeros left after that so the answer to to that particular question is 800